Global warming, as we mentioned, is in the news tonight, specifically the growing number of cities, states, and businesses that have decided they're not willing to wait for the federal government to take action on climate change. They're going to make changes now, thinking globally, as they say, while acting locally. We get more from NBC News correspondent Tom Costello. Rocky Anderson believes if you're the mayor, you lead by example. So these are solar panels. From his snow-covered roof to the water heater in his basement and the car in his driveway. It runs completely on natural gas. Anderson is trying to push Salt Lake City toward a greener future. The message is we're all in this together and we've all got to do our part. Already, Salt Lake has cut its greenhouse pollutants by 23,000 tons per year. The city's fleet now electric three-wheelers and hybrids, high-efficiency light bulbs in the traffic signals and Christmas trees, and the methane gas emissions from the wastewater treatment plant turned into power. Salt Lake, one of 346 cities and 12 states, no longer waiting for the feds to take the lead on global warming. Washington has never passed a law to address greenhouse gas emissions or global warming. Now with the Democrats set to take power, Congress may be about to turn a bit bitter itself. Anyone who says global warming is a hoax is way out of the mainstream of scientific thought. Senator Barbara Boxer is about to take over as chairman of the powerful Environmental and Public Works Committee. She wants new laws to cap greenhouse gas emissions, higher fuel efficiency standards for cars, and an end to tax breaks for oil companies, the proceeds going towards alternative fuels. Meanwhile, much of corporate America has decided it can't afford to wait either. GM, Walmart, Exelon Power, and FedEx, among some of the biggest companies that are already cutting their own greenhouse emissions. They need to act now because legislation is going to hit them here in the U.S. sooner or later. And from his roof in Salt Lake City, we could solve our problems in this country if we took these kinds of steps. Proof, says Rocky Anderson, that acting locally can have a global impact. Tom Costello, NBC News, Washington.